It's really good to see you all here together. It's been too long. <laughs> hmm. I should say all except Michael. Michael is Devin's fiance. Fine young man. I'm very fond of him. How is Michael, Devin? I haven't the slightest idea. Don't tell me you and Michael I'd are... rather not talk about it, Jennifer. I'm sorry, dear. Oh, I think you could say that we each have a calling. Take Byron, for example. He's true to his namesake. He's a poet. Novelist. How is your novel progressing, Byron? What page was on the last time you asked? Oh, uh, I think it was 450. Now it's about 300. I made the mistake of reading it. <laughs> You're a writer. No, I write. A writer is someone who makes a living writing, like Jennifer. Oh. Jennifer doesn't write, Byron. You got to get that straight. Max says that what I do isn't writing, it's typing. No, Jennifer, Truman Capote said that. I merely stole it. Did he say it about me? Wonder who he stole it from. <laughs> Jennifer, what's happening? We're getting a lot of questions and no answers. All I know is that Clarence is dead. Somebody shot him. What do you got? Mr. Majeska and Miss Delora went into the game room immediately following dinner. Uh, they say that they stayed there and played backgammon until you came to get them. Mr. Van Onholt and Mr. Thornberry went into the bar. After a while, Mr. Van Onholt went upstairs, left Mr. Thornberry in the bar alone. Mr. Fowler and the staff were in the kitchen. We were all in the kitchen eating from the time we cleared the table till you came down and told us Mr. Hyland was dead. Eric, you went upstairs, I'll come. To see my old room, I, uh... I always go there when I visit Uncle Clarence. It helps me to remember the good times we had here. Clarence was the only person in all our lives who ever gave a damn about us. Where is that room located? It's up the stairs, directly above the study. Huh. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah. Mr. Fowler, would you and your staff wait in the kitchen, please? Certainly. Thank you. You say that after Mr. Von Anhalt went upstairs, he left you alone in the bar, correct? As my blood alcohol content will no doubt establish. Did you see anyone? Well, the heavy question is, did anyone see me? The two of you were in the game room. Did one of you leave for a minute or so? No, we were together the whole time. How well do the four of you know this house? Well, very well. We grew up here. Uh, Byron's the youngest. He was four when our mother died, and Clarence brought us here. Is there another entrance into Clarence's study other than the door from the foyer? No. Is there a phone in this house that's not connected to the three PBX lines? Why? Well, the call that came through took your uncle into his study alone. It's possible that that call originated from inside the house. There is a phone in the extra study. Clarence liked to call it Jennifer's office. That phone's not part of the PBX system. Jennifer's office. So, Mrs. Brash, uh, when did she leave? A minute ago. Officer Biggs is going to have to take all of your fingerprints, if none of you mind. No. Thank you. Go away, I'm busy. It's the police, open up. What can I do for you, Sergeant? May I come in? For how long? That depends on you. Have a seat. Thanks. I gather you still don't know who killed my uncle. We're working on it. You and Devin alibied each other. I think you ought to know the gun that was used to kill your uncle was registered to Devin. You sure of that? Absolutely sure. Well, she did have a gun, and, but somebody stole it. I told her to report the theft. I don't know if she did. Yeah, she did. But maybe that gun was stolen by one of her brothers. Like, maybe you? That's a lot of maybes. Look, can I save you some time? You can try. Not a Max, nor Eric, nor me, nor Devin is capable of killing anyone but especially not Clarence. We loved him with all our hearts. 
Well, then that leaves Mrs. Brasher, doesn't it? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Jennifer killed him? I'm just saying that we didn't. I see. Your brother Max is missing. Do you have any idea where he is? Max is an alcoholic. He'll show up when he needs some money. Working on your novel, huh? Yeah. It should be finished in two or three months. What's it about? People who have nothing because they have everything. Sort of autobiographical? Do you have any idea what it's like to discover that there's this great, fabulous game being played out there and you haven't been eligible? Who said you weren't eligible? Nobody didn't say it. It's like everybody's out there in the thick of it, you know? Trying to figure out who they are. What they've got to give, what they, you know, how, how far they can go. Whether they'll kill the beast or be killed. I never realized what a, a wild, wonderful challenge that was. Until they told me that the distribution of old Seamus Highland's fortune was going to be delayed. Maybe for years to come. It was like being born again. I threw out the novel I was writing. I started on this one. For the first time, I'm in the damn game. <laughs> it's a great feeling to know that either I finish this thing or I starve to death. Well, good luck. Thanks. I'll need it.